My name is Georgina Terry. I'm a business coach for entrepreneurs. When I wrote the book, it really was to provide a message to anyone who wants to start a business or has already started is looking for guidance. So, this book is available on RIK, uh, Nigel Khan, and the book specialist. So, it's a must read for anyone aspiring and wanting to start a business. For someone starting up, make sure that you have a business that you are passionate about, really care about, want to be of service to someone. Secondly, make sure you have saved some money that's going to look after you while the business grows. So if you can save up some money, and I sort of advocate in the book, I put at least a year's worth of salary. Now, a year's worth of money that you need to look after yourself. Start putting some away. So you've got this nest egg that you can draw on while the business is taking care of itself. Because the business can't pay you. It's like a child. It can't pay you on day one. Right? But if you could have got the finance to look after yourself, you've got one less headache. And number three, really start thinking about, even though you're passionate about the business or the, the product or service, you have to become passionate about all the things that will need to be done to make the business grow. So you have to become passionate about marketing. You have to become passionate about sales. You have to become passionate about finance. And I know you said three, but I had a fourth one. When you first start a business, your main focus, or your main role, is the mar is marketing and sales. It's not the product or the service. Because the product and service, you already can do it. You have to learn how to market your product and sell your product or service, because that's what's going to bring the income. Okay, I would say don't be in too many different areas. People, you know, want to have multiple streams of income, and that's good, but not as to start off with. Get your niche. You know, who are the, who's the customer or the client? What truly is the product? Why do they like it? And get that customer base really solid, so you've got some steady stream of income coming. In. Also, ensure that you in your your client base, you've got a mix of repeat clients and also new clients. Once you've got that steady base, then look to start making sure your processes and systems are in place. So can you handle all of the business you get? For some companies or businesses, they start off and they start off quick, but the volume is so intense, they haven't got all the processes and systems in place and therefore they can't service the customer. The customer service goes down, the customer moves on. So make sure you've got the right systems and processes in place. So you've got, you're getting your accounts, your invoices out on time. Because no cash, no business. Profit on a balance sheet is not cash, you need money in the bank. And if your invoices are going out late, you're not collecting your money in time. So make sure your accounting systems are in place, your invoices in place. If you manufacture a product, make sure that's tight and get to the customer on time. So make sure that the core of the business is tight, airtight, strong, you've got all the processes and systems documented. Then say, okay, now this is coming, now I can look to diversify. Because this new diversification part of the business is going to be in its embryonic stage. So you're kind of like starting over again, even though you've got a nesting. So it's really taking it step to step and making sure it's solid before you step out. for me was, was not understanding first the Trinidad the landscape. Having not gone to school here, not been immersed in the Trinidad uh, network, if you will, I underestimated how much business is done through referral. So in the UK, yes, it's done through referral, but it's not heavily based on that. In Trinidad, it's kind of Oh, I know someone who would need your service. I don't, but if you don't know many people, then that's it. So it really got, so one of the challenges was really getting into the networks, um, like being part of the Chamber of Commerce, 
and not just being part of it, being active. So I say to my clients when they start to join with me, be part of one of the associations, be active in there, get to know people. Um, so that's definitely that one in terms of networking. Um, secondly, realizing that the role we were stepping into is not one of coaching or consulting while I was doing it, it was marketing and sales. Knowing what that really means. Being visible, being credible, so people know you exist. It's not, as I say, it's not what you know, not who you know, but who knows you. I've thought about writing another book, but not yet. Um, I have an idea for it and it's kind of germinating. Uh, the real part for me is building the business to provide a mm, kind of network of support for new entrepreneurs. So having a service that provides coaching, marketing services, sales services, all the kind of support that a new business needs to be able to tap into. Because a lot of times in service you don't know who to go to, you don't know where to go. And so my focus now is providing that support on a bigger scale so that businesses that start my mission is that to increase the number of businesses that are successful. Not just in Trinidad, but in the region, and I want to even go as far as the world. So creating a model that allows people to step into this arena with certainty, with confidence, and know where they're going to make that, make their dream become a reality, their passions to become profitable.